Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Hack the Planet. Today I'm going to show you how to exchange memory cards in the Inspiron 14 3000 series. This is going to be for the Braswell motherboard and processors. This particular unit has an Intel Celeron N3050. And um, so what we have to do to get started first, we'll jump right in. We have to remove the battery, which um, Dell does a bang up job, that's why they're still in business after all these years. Um, even companies like Amazon once, or uh, Amazon Apple, excuse me, once envied their position, especially during the 90s. They make a solid product, so you take that off, really easy to work on. The next step we have to do, you want to take out the battery, that's obvious, that's just to make sure there's no charge um, in the equipment, you don't want to accidentally turn it on during this process next thing I do is remove the screws on the base cover and uh, just yeah that'll be fine you don't have to remove any USB peripherals or anything take one screw out and we'll just set it right here take the next screw out just put it aside you don't want to lose that and then you should just gently be able to pry up this base cover right here. Pops right off. And there's your memory module. This is what we're going to be swapping out. Um, and this looks like, this is the uh, port you would use. This is the location of the uh, hard drive. Uh, you know, while you're at it, just to let you know, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to uh, if your model comes with uh, embedded multimedia cards for storage, uh, you're not going to be able to install a hard drive in it. But it does give you a nice void here where you might be able to modify your case. Uh, you might still even be able to attach it to the motherboard. Um, uh, fat chance though, from what I've read so far, I'll, I'll keep you updated right here in this video. If anything changes, if you don't see anything, uh, we're out of luck as far as that goes. Uh, as far as a replacement for today, uh, what I did, I picked up a Kingston, this is a 8 gigabyte a PC3L, it says 1280, it's a so dim card, doesn't make a bunch of sense. Basically, this is a DDR3 1600 megahertz laptop chip, and I will also post a link to this product right here if you want to pick up the same device. Luckily, they bumped this up to 1600 instead of uh, 1300 megahertz, so uh, we'll, we'll get better performance out of this memory module. And uh, since it does have Intel HD graphics, this should help you with video games as well because they share memory. The computer, it's, a, it's all unified memory in these devices, except for whatever you have in the cache for these processors. So, uh, moving on to the next step. This is a very, uh, this is a very straightforward procedure. We just have to uh, un unsecure the memory module from the board. There's two, uh, uh, there, there are two securing clips right here. We need to just pry those open. And once you do that, it should just pop out. There you go. Slide it right out of there. So now we need to open our new memory module. Using the same screwdriver, I'm just gonna break the uh, security film on it. Sure, just pop right open for us. There we go. Very, very good packaging for the uh, replacement chip. Okay, so we should be able to separate these two layers of plastic comes with an installation guide so now we should just need to insert it just like so and that should be all there is to it we'll reuse this case for our previous still good it's just two gigabytes it's all Go ahead and put the installation manual back in here. 
So our next step is just to reinstall the base cover now. Goes on very easily. Take our two screws. These are magnetic, or at least they hold on to your precision screwdriver kit. Should be all there, all she wrote there. Go ahead and put this other screw in it. Battery goes in very simply. You want to start from the outside and work your way in. Okay. Let's try that the other way. No, nope. it's definitely outside in. There we go. Need a little bit more force. I'm a little conservative with electronics, I like to cheat them, treat them very gently there. So we are done. Let's go ahead and boot this bad boy up and we'll check the uh, system properties and see what the memory is showing up as. Looks like it pops up and it will say the amount of system memory has changed. If you did not, there's a problem, but we did. So let's go ahead and just click continue. Alright, when you load up the system properties, it reflects that we just installed an 8 gigabyte chip. So now you're fanless, energy efficient, only uses 6 watts of power processor. This uh, mobile system on a chip implanted in a, a very well built budget laptop uh, should give you uh, some, more, um, some more life now. It shouldn't hesitate as much, especially with the lack of a hard drive. Now you have 8 gigs of RAM, it can store that up so you can switch smoothly between applications. Now uh, I will post a link on this YouTube video for the, uh, it's got, I've got the product manual here. You can ask, you can get to it from Dell.com. If you haven't seen it yet, check out my review uh, over this Dell Inspiron 14 laptop. And um, if you've already watched that, you're, you're on this video. Thanks again for watching. I will post another video shortly regarding a new budget tablet that's out for the price conscious and some of the Amazon offerings now. Uh, thanks and have a great rest of your day. Thanks again for watching my channel. Please sure to like, share, subscribe.